Good morning, or good evening, whoever, wherever you are. Actually, Bobby, Mark, and I are just back from a trip from India and, and London uh, last night. And uh, we continue on in this uh, ever, uh, everlasting product uh, development and uh, bringing to the market the great, latest and the greatest in trends and product from uh, around the world. Um, you know, having we're working product all the time. Uh, a lot of you give us input, and uh, it's constant. We're working on so many different collections at the same time. We're working with so many different vendors. And one of the things that um, people always comment on, their first comment is when they meet, uh, you know, meet us, and probably you, uh, they say, you know what, Two's company is absolutely amazing. And so I say, well, yeah, you know, we're, we're somewhat a, we're a modest uh, uh, group here, and so uh, they will go on and, um, and, and say, no one does it like Two's. No one has the breadth of product that Two's company and it's all its divisions have. And so how do you turn, what do you do with that, um, you know, that type of statement? And what you do with it is, and what we hope you do with it, is really make the most of it. You know, I'm sitting here uh, today ready to go over uh, holiday with you. We've already gone over cupcakes and, and two sheep and um, Halloween and fall. And so I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this and, and the table is uh, runneth over of product and opportunity. And TZ and I were talking um, uh, earlier uh, and we spent a lot of time in this, you know, in a think tank to try to understand really what goes on. And, and so we were talking earlier about, so what goes on? How do we maximize um, the opportunity here? And I just have to share with you, I mean, having just come from factories and overseas and, and, and communication that, you know, that goes back and forth, that one of the things I do enjoy about enjoy. I feel really super accomplished and whenever anyone's on one of our buying trips, they, they also feel that way because we almost get both ends of the coin. We actually don't sleep much and I think our team here would, would, know, would, would say that. It's like well, when Tom and Bobby and Mark travel, it's like as if they're still here because we're getting emails at the same rate that when they're here. So we'll work a whole day in the field uh, overseas and then we'll get back to our hotel, you know, possibly have dinner or room service to go out and then come back and do another three hours of emails and, and it's a very fast paced environment. But there is so much opportunity and breadth here and there's so much work that goes into every single product more than ever before. Hey, uh, Tom, I couldn't agree more and uh, as we're talking here and as I was looking at this buffet before we uh, started the film, I think one of the challenges that uh, we have in the field is, is twofold. Not only to maximize and get as much of the buyers open to buy as we can at every store visit, but the, uh, the amount of tools and the amount of product that we have to be able to sell virtually anybody on the street, from a gourmet uh, grocer to a Hallmark shop to the finest home store in town and unless we really focus on that and and rather than be thinking about one size fits all one store is where we're going to sell everything which is not likely the real opportunity is to be able to sell the wide range of customers that are in every town most every town from the Hallmark store to the drug store uh, to the women's dress shop, the finest dress shop in town, to the Henrodon Gallery, to the gift boutique. All right, that's how you maximize uh, so, the opportunities that we have in front of us. So, you know, I go into, you know, I have a few accounts that I work with, and, you know, I was just thinking about this breath of this buffet, and I was saying, so what happens? What happens in the sale? I prepare, I have my list of product, I mentally go in already, I have a number of dollars that I'm expecting to sell, I know which divisions I'm gonna to go to, and there's, but there's one thing I don't have access to. I don't have direct access to that, that kind of invisible cash register that is in the buyer's head. 
And so as we're going through it, and as I'm going through the line, and I got it, the rhythm going, and yes, no, or, or, or how many you need, and all this, uh, it stops. There's a certain point at which the sale stops. And, you know, it's almost like, see, it happens so fast sometimes, I don't know what really happened. And so, you know, we have to figure out a way. How are you going to get control of that? Okay, how are you going to grab in a certain account? I and mean, one way TZ, you know, was, was, we were talking earlier, he said, well, you know, we have so many different types of stores that you can sell is that you don't have to sell everything and what store is going to carry everything we do. There's not one store, not even the Two's Company store carried every single product in the Two's Company range. It just doesn't happen. So when you're planning, when you're strategizing, when you're figuring out how to get the most, out of, I'll tell you one way to think about it is take a zip code and say, how am I going to get every one of these items in that zip code? And so look at your account base within a range, within an area, and begin to process what we have here. This is, you know, we, this is a, unlike any other company, we spend hours, days, months, years developing the Choose Company style, our signature style. Everything here is edited. And, you know, it's, it's our perspective. Uh, you know, we have lots of conversations around the company where we're talking about, okay, is this right for our customer? And do we like, do, can we relate to this product? You know, there are competitors out there that have products that we just, we don't relate to. We don't, uh, it's not us. Okay, this is us. And when you look at the holiday and the full brochures, that our team, and thank you Marla, and thank you our whole graphics team, and thank you our merchandising team that pulled it all together. It is an unbelievable opportunity. And um, I implore you to take advantage of what you are given here starting on Monday, March 3rd. And let me just say, to Tom, in addition to all that, uh, that you've said, this business is all about, and I've said it, I've, you may have heard it too much, but I'll never stop saying it. It's all about activities and behaviors, like a minimum of two sales a day, seven store visits, six to ten store visits every day. That's how you're going to get traction out of this collection. All right? You're going to write bigger orders and more of them and keep those activities and behaviors in the forefront. Have a plan and go to work. Think about categories. Think about inventory. Don't sell the melting snowman, okay, which sold out of every single store with just a minimum pack. Look at every item. Look at the value. Double up, triple up. We don't, you know, you guys know the way our inventory plan works. Our whole holiday assortment, we will s probably stop ordering by May. Okay, so it is, this is it. You go in, and if there are crumbs left over for reorders in November, there will be crumbs left over. But this is a planned out inventory opportunity. That's why we're able to offer the deal. So we can offer a deal because we, we can manage our inventory differently. So, I, so I'm really excited to get going. We're going to go on the next tape, and we're going to start showing you all about what's in for holiday.